Welcome to Cards of Alex 2018. Um, could you possibly introduce yourself? So my name is Mamas Mamas. I'm the professor of cardiology at Keele University in the United Kingdom. Welcome. Um, what do you think of Cardio Alex this year? I think, well, it's the first time I've been to Cardio Alex. Um, I think it's a great meeting. I'd like to congratulate Professor Sobney. Um, I think there's a wide range of very interesting topics and I'm very impressed by the young faculty. Um, so many of the young Egyptian doctors, you know, come, interact, so it's a great learning opportunity. That's great to hear. Could you possibly talk to, about, uh, talk to us about the advantages of using radial in PCI? Yes, this is a major interest of mine. My group has published many papers in this arena. We know that in PCI, um, one of the most common complications is major bleeding. Major bleeding can occur in maybe 5-10% of cases and we know that major bleeding is associated with poor outcomes in terms of mortality. Half of all these bleeds come from the access site, uh, the femoral access site, and that's really been the driver to move towards radial. Um, radial reduces the risk of major bleeding complications. In randomized trials, radial has reduced the risk of mortality by a third, and it saves money. So in the United Kingdom, one of our papers has estimated that something like £18 million has been saved just from switching to radial um, over a five-year period. We know that um, in the United Kingdom, 85% of all cases are radial, but this varies across the world. So in Egypt, less than half the cases. In the US, less than half. So there's a great disparity in uh, how commonly used radial is. And how do you think we can increase it in Egypt? I think first and foremost um, is talking to younger interventional cardiologists, um, discussing data with them, um, introducing them to the benefits of um, ra the radial approach. That's the why. The most important thing is the how. How do they do it? So I think the, the most important aspect there is going to courses. There are a number of radial courses in Egypt that I'm involved in. Uh, so we run um, every year. And you know I think it's a great opportunity for young doctors to go to radial specific courses to um, learn about the techniques, look at the data, the tips and tricks. And hopefully that will improve util utilization of radial in Egypt. Hopefully. Uh, is there any advice that you have for junior physicians that are starting off their careers? Yes, I think first and foremost, um, it's the importance of keeping abreast of the literature. Um, so, you know, when I was a very junior physician, I used to always, you know, read all the major journals in the pa in the areas that I was interested in. Um, I think it's very useful to try to spend some time abroad. You know, sometimes we can become very narrow-minded uh, by what we see in our own place of work in our own country. And I think, you know, exposure to international practice is very important for doctors. So I would recommend that. And I also think, importantly, is have a life outside work as well. Um, so do something you enjoy. You know, I enjoy running, I go running. Um, so I would say, you know, to do something that you enjoy and finally don't lose track of why we do this you know we do this for patient benefits so always have the patient at the forefront of your practice and you won't go wrong okay thank you so much for your time doctor it's a pleasure thank you